All right. Hello, hello. Um, so, hi. Um, I've been trying to study triangulation numbers, and, uh, you know, I was looking up videos on YouTube, and guess what? I found nothing! So, um, I actually studied this for a while, and I finally get it. Um, I don't know if it's because, uh, I'm stupid, or I'm stupid. But anyway, um, I'm just, uh, making this video for my records, just in case I forget it. And, you know, if, if the world decides to watch it, eh, you know, whatever works. So, here's the thing. Um, as you may already know, um, the formula for triangulation number is, um, it's right up there. It's T equals to H squared plus HK plus K squared. Um, so basically what the triangulation number tells you is, uh, it just kind of gives you an idea of how big the viral capsid is. So, for example, you know, T equals to 1, uh, compared to T equals to 3. T equals to 3 is obviously going to be bigger than T equals to 1. Now, um, that's not the issue. The issue is how do you actually find the value of T, right? So, here's the thing. What I was confused about before, like, um, I knew that... To calculate it, you need to calculate how many jumps it takes from one, um, one point of five subunits to the next point of five subunits. Um, I just thought it was talking about, like, any one of the subunits, and it, it was just really messed up in my brain. So here's the thing. You're supposed to calculate it from one specific point to the next specific point, okay? So for this example, it's t equals to one, so it's pretty simple. Um... So first of all, what you need to know is you need to find the value of h and k to be substituted into, into this formula. <clears throat> so in this example, let's say we're calculating from this point to this point, okay? And uh, you may not be able to see this, but h is pointed in this direction and k is pointed in this direction. Now, keep in mind that you can, you can um, designate any point as your h and k as long as they're adjacent to one another. So... So yeah, let's say from here to here. Um, all you need is like one jump that goes from here to here, which means that h is not even involved in the equation. Therefore, h would equal zero and k would equal one. And so when you substitute that into the equation right here, if you can see, I'm so sorry for the shadow, by the way. Um, but yeah, so you would get t equals to one. Okay, so that is pretty simple. Um, let's see, I have another example, and yeah, I have this, like, leaning against my laptop. I don't really have, you know, super efficient technology. Uh, okay, wait. Yeah, this is not really the best thing. Anyway, so this is for t equals to 3. So this one is a little more tricky, and I hope you'll be able to see this. But here's the diagram right here, okay? And, um, let's say... The, the red points are um, the five-fold, and the yellow points are the six-fold, okay? Um, so, let's say you're calculating it from here to here. Now, this is H. H is in this direction, and K is in this direction right here. Now, if you look at it, you need one, two jumps to, go, to get to the next point, right? <clears throat> but here's the thing. H and K are... Um, they are different directions, right? So in this example, you're going h equals 1 and k equals 1 because this direction here, this, this uh, line here is parallel to this one, so this would be the k, okay? <clears throat> so your h would equal 1, your k would equal 1. And when you substitute that into the formula, you get t equals to 3. Okay, now I'm just kind of running through them, um, but I wanted to show another example of, uh, let's do t equals to, there's t, no, let's do t equals to 7. Okay, so this, uh, this diagram is definitely different from the previous one, but, uh, I hope you get, like, an idea of it. Just give me a second. Sad life of a student. I'm broke all the time. I can't afford a camera. Psh. Anyway. So. Oh, that's not very clear. 
All right. So let's say um, again here the red points are the uh, fold, the five fold uh, points. <laughs> right. Um, it's really early in the morning or late at night. However you see it. So anyway. So let's say you're calculating it from this point to this point, right? So in this example, I've set H in this direction and K in this direction. And uh, to get to this point right here, you need to go 1, 2, 3. Or you could even go like 1, 2, 3. If you can see that, there are two different directions. But just um, for simplicity um, sake, we're going to go in this direction right here. So it's 1, 2, 3. <clears throat> so... Since this is H and this is K, you would go 1, 2. So that's 2 for the H direction and 1 for the K direction. Therefore, H would equal 2, K would equal 1. I know that's really blurry, but it does say H equals 2 and K equals 1. And when you substitute that into the equation, uh, you get T equals to 7. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'm so excited that I understand this now. Um, yeah, well, well, that's pretty much it. And, um, well, thanks for watching. If not, uh, if I'm the only one who's watching this, I'm pretty much talking to myself. In any case, that's still cool. All right, see ya.